diagnosis of obesity. BMI is a calculated value and approximates the body's fat percentage. Actually, measuring a person's body fat percentage is not easy and is often inaccurate if the methods are not monitored carefully. The following methods require special equipment, trained personnel can be costly and some are only available in certain research facilities. Underwater weighing or hydrostatic weighing. This method weighs a person underwater and then calculates lean body mass and body fat. This method is one of the most accurate ones. However, it is generally done in special research facilities and the equipment is costly. BOD POD The BOD POD is a computerized egg-shaped chamber. Using the same whole body measurement principle as hydrostatic weighing, the BOD pod measures subject's mass and volume from which their whole body density is determined. Using this data, body fat and lean muscle mass can be calculated. DEXA Dual Energy X-ray Absorptiometry It is used to measure bone density. It uses X-rays to determine not only the percentage of body fat but also where and how much fat is located in the body. The following two methods are simple and straightforward. Skin calipers. This method measures the skin fold thickness of the layer of fat just under the skin in several parts of body with calipers, a metal tool similar to forceps. The results are then used to calculate the percentage of body fat. Bioelectric impedance analysis. There are two methods of the BIA. One involves standing on a special scale with foot pads. Electrical current is sent through the body and then percentage of body fat is calculated. The other type of BIA involves electrodes that are typically placed on a wrist and an ankle and on the back of the right hand and on the top of the foot. The change in voltage between the electrodes is measured. The person's body fat percentage is then calculated from the results of the BIA. Early on this method showed variable results. Newer equipment and methods of analysis seem to have improved this method. Health clubs and weight loss centers often use the skin calipers or bioelectric impedance analysis method. However, these can yield inaccurate results if an inexperienced person performs them or they used on someone with significant obesity. What about weight for height tables? Measuring a person's body fat percentage can be difficult. So other methods are often relied upon to diagnose obesity. Two widely used methods are weight for height tables and body mass index. While both measurements have their limitations, they are reasonable indicators that someone may have a weight problem. The calculations are easy and no special equipment is required. Most people are familiar with weight for height tables. Although, such tables have existed for a long time. In 1943, the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company introduced their table based on policyholders' data to relate weight to disease and mortality. Doctors and nurses may have used these tables for decades to determine if someone is overweight. The tables usually have a range of acceptable weights for a person of a given height. One small problem with using weight for height tables is that doctors disagree over which is the best table to use. Several versions are available. Many have different weight ranges 
and some tables account for a person's frame size, age, and sex, while other tables do not. A significant limitation of all weight for height tables is that they do not distinguish between excess fat and muscle. A very muscular person may be classified as obese according to the tables when he or she in fact is not. What is the body mass index? The body mass index is now the measurement of choice for many physicians and researchers studying obesity. The BMI uses a mathematical formula that accounts for both a person's weight and height. The BMI measurement, however, poses some of the same problems as the weight for height tables. Not everyone agrees on the cutout points for healthy versus unhealthy BMI ranges. BMI also does not provide information on a person's percentage of body fat. However, like that weight for height table, BMI is useful general guideline and is a good estimator of body fat for most adults 19 and 70 years of age. However, it may not be an accurate measurement of body fat for bodybuilders, certain athletes, and pregnant women. The BMI equals a person's weight in kilograms divided by height in meters squared. BMI equal to kilogram per square meter. To calculate the BMI using pounds, divide the weight in pounds by the height in inches squared and multiply the result by 703. It is important to understand that healthy weight means healthy weight is defined as the body mass index equal to or greater than 19 and less than 25 among all people 20 years of age or over. Generally, obesity is defined as a body mass index equal to or greater than 30, which approximates 30 pounds of excess weight. Excess weight also places people at risk of developing serious health problems. The World Health Organization uses a classification system using the BMI to define overweight and obesity. A BMI of 25 to 29.9 is defined as a pre-obese. A BMI of 30 to 34.99 is defined as obese class 1. A BMI of 35 to 39.99 is defined as obese class 2. A BMI of or greater than 40 is defined as obese class 3. Here is a table identifying the risk of associated disease according to BMI and waist size. Does it matter where body fat is located? Concern is directed not only at how much fat a person has, but also where that fat is located on the body. The pattern of body fat distribution tends to different in men and in women. In general, women collect fat in their hips and buttocks, giving their figures a pear shape. Men on the other hand, usually collect fat around the belly, giving them more of an apple shape. Apple-shaped people whose fat is concentrated mostly in the abdomen are more likely to develop many of the health problems associated with obesity. They are at increased health risk because of their fat distribution. While obesity of any kind is a health risk, it is better to be a pear than an apple. In order to sort the types of fruit, doctors have developed a simple way to determine whether someone is an example or a pair. The measurement is called waist to hip ratio. To find out a person's weight to hip ratio, measure the waist at its narrowest point and then measure the hips at the widest point. 
divide the waist measurement by the hip measurement. For example, a woman with a 35 inch waist and 46 inch hips would have a waist to hip ratio of 0 0.76. 35 divided by 46 equal to 0. Women with waist to hip ratios of more than 0. 0.8 and men with waist to hip ratios of more than 1.0 are apples. Another rough way of estimating the amount of a person's abdominal fat is by measuring waist circumference. Men with a waist circumference of 40 inches or greater and women with a waist circumference of 35 inches or greater are considered to have increased health risks related to obesity.